Hello everybody and welcome to the newest Gomer Play series, Star Tropics 2 Zoda's Revenge. I think that's supposed to be reversed, that's what I get for reading the uh, thing on top of the emulator here. As per before, G-O-M-E-N-R, yay! Uh, we'll just jump right into it, you saw, you saw the backstory there, which we'll get a little bit of uh, reintroduction into it as we go through. Um, so yes, chapter one. Hi, I'm Mike. How have you been? Mm, that's good. You guys all right out there? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You guys fine? All right. I'm back in Seattle. Do you remember my uncle? Yes, I do. Yeah, Dr. J, the tropical archaeologist. Yeah, this is, this is the only time where Mike speaks directly to you in, in terms of, like, games. I mean, he does it constantly throughout this game, but it's like, this is the only game in which he does that. Now he's in Seattle, busy decoding the rest of that cipher from the tropics. Spends all his time reading like crazy, trying to break the code. Mike, can you hear me? Mike, can you hear me? You shout, whoa, Micah? Micah, where are you? No answer from Micah. Mike, pick up the phone. Just kidding, I'm using telepathy. You shout, telepathy? Wow, too cool. Mike, remember my father, Hyracon, leader of the lost planet Argonia? Uh, I think so, yeah. He spoke to me into a, he spoke to me in a dream. Was it a cat I saw? Was it a rat I saw? I wonder what it means. I can't talk any more today. That's all for now, Mike. And, Mike, wait! Yeah, disconnected? I, I have to wonder, does it actually say in his head you're, the, the, uh, the person who has been telepath telepathically contacting you has now disconnected? Was it a cat I saw? Was it a rat I saw? I better ask Dr. J. I'm busy, very, very busy. Tough, tough, very tough. This cipher is tough. Mm, maybe. Well, getting warmer, almost... No. Busy, very, very busy. Good job. Dr. J! Uncle Steve! Oh, Mike, it's you. What are you doing here? Tell the story, Mike, blah, blah, blah. Here I come, blah, blah, cat, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I like how they use the blah just to get a lot of information out that you already know. Hmm. Hyracon said, was it a cat I saw? Was it a rat I saw? Was I tap a t saw? Get it? Do you guys get it? I get it. Do you? All right. For those who don't, I'll 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 spell it. Well, I'll have the game spell it out for you. You start out. Was it a cat I saw? Was it a rat I saw? Put it all together. And as he pulls it apart. It's the same frontwards and backwards. I what, what is the word for that? Um, if I re I'll probably remember it before I actually post the video, and it'll probably be like in the title or comments or something. <laughs> uh, but yes, reverse exactly. Hyracon is telling us to reverse the cipher. How did you get that? From from just the the the, the words being the same frontwards and backwards. How do you get reverse from that? I don't even know. Let's see if this works. Mike, get me the Oxford Wonderworld. That's it there. Ah, yes. Whee! Now read the strange words of the cipher. Um, 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 um. Pa, 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 um, pa, pa, ma, ma. Is it pa, 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 um, pa, pa, ma, ma, um, pa, pa, ma, ma. Oh, dear. Stop, stop! You, got, you told him to read the words. That, that doesn't make much sense in, in dialogue context, but all of a sudden, Mike is gone through time and space. <laughs> we don't go through the tropics in this one. We go through time and space. And since chapter one is so short, I'm going to actually have chapter two in this video as well. Because um, literally chapter one, you saw it. <laughs> what happened? Where am I? Wow, it's like being in a sci-fi movie. What <laughs> you? gotta keep moving you decide to look around yeah cuz all Mike is wearing is just jeans shirt and a jean jacket found as many holes ahead they're hidden by snow watch your step ah uh, yes this is one of those another one of those things that's introduced into the Star Tropics games right here random holes we drop into just mini dungeons basically you go through you know you don't die at this point you can only just pick up some rocks knock some boars upside the head there we go. And you are also introduced to multiple levels, which is something new to this game. And as you're also noticing, movement! 
movement is still, you know, it takes a second before Mike actually moves in a direction for the most part. But it can also work in your favor if you like to show off, like, twists and twirls, like, whee! Like that. You jump up on different levels, which, by the way, you see that board down there? Can't hit him. Cannot hit him because I'm too far up. <laughs> yes, in the original game, if you've noticed that whenever you jump and use a weapon, it actually would, you know, float back downward. In this game, they stay at the same uh, height, so altitude, whatever. But at any rate, and if you're up on higher levels, you can jump a little bit further, which is actually useful in getting across some water pathways, too. So, so it adds a little bit more strategy. Um, hi. One star. And yes, enemies do take advantage of altitude differences <laughs> throughout the game. You'll see what I mean. Nope. Okay. Yeah, this one, relatively short, like I said. Uh, it's like... It's almost like these are like uh, random battles, almost, from an RPG. But not quite. Uh, so up we go. Yeah, it, some of these dungeons will repeat. There's like... Ow, 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 ow. By the way, there... You'll probably see it a little later on, but uh, one of the actual uh, gripes about this game, and I admit I have it a bit too, is there's like very little to no um, uh, mercy invincibility. So if I'm stuck in a bad place, I could get my ass kicked really fucking fast. Ah! Didn't want to go that way. I wanted to go this way. Get up there. Ah... Also interesting to note, if you've been paying attention, the rocks go in the third slot, not in the second slot like they would in the last game. Which means you get two main two main attacks, at least eventually. I am a caveman, a caveman I am! Cave people, sweet! Oh my, you look so much like my son. Poor, poor shorty. <laughs> Someday a reliever, shall, a reliever shall come from the south. Our village awaits him. Well, I technically came from the south. All right. Unless I absolutely have to, I'm not necessarily going to talk to everybody. At least, I don't think I need to. I'll do it anyway for this one. He's Picasso, a great artist, and I'm his buddy. We tried to fight Yum Yum. It was terrible. Picasso has not said a word since. Poor Picasso. See his paintings on the wall? I wonder if he's trying to tell us something. He is, actually. This is actually a hint for the first dungeon. <laughs> the first uh, main dungeon. And it's something I try to remember myself. And even if you can't... If you if you know certain places where it's like you well I'll show you when we get there, but uh, let's see peace peace triangle square peace square triangle. Okay. Uh, something was good today. Hey you. Hello. Gonna roast a boar for dinner. How do you like it? Rare roast. What a barbarian. Um, I actually like mine. Well done. Thank you. Mike is a hot name, too. It's sort of weird, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, look at me. I, I actually... I have black outline. You guys have the brown outlines. Poor Pudgy. Aww. So, what happened? Warm yourself, boy. Sure, I'll warm myself. What eventually happened? Alright, all right, well, we'll find out. Uh, hey, we get an axe! Um, I have no money? I don't know what money means. Let me cavemen just say thank you. Now, if only certain CEOs and certain corporations could realize, you know, forget what money means. Yum Yum lives to the north. Better not go there. Hey, old dude. Ah, Mike, you've come from the south. You must be the one from my prophecy. Well, I just kind of landed there, but okay. It says a southpaw reliever would come one day. Are you the one? Yeah, sure. A month ago, a man munching monster Yum Yum gulped down our children. Oh, no. Our best cavemen in vain tried to stop Yum Yum. No more victims. I ask you to drive Yum Yum from our land. Only you, Mike the South Paw Reliever, can save us. But I'm from Seattle. I'm not from the South. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And we just walk on through. I don't think... Yeah, I think this is less heavy on having to talk to everybody. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, too sad to tell. Yeah. 
Yum Yum lives to the north. Better not go there. So you're really going? Hope you have Tink's axe. Well, I do. Yeah. Okay. First dungeon. Oh, yeah. You know, it's very hard to find remixes for this game. I bring it up because it's like a remix for this right here. Uh, well, at least a decent remix. Um, the remix for this particular uh, theme is probably the only one I've been able to find that was of any decent quality. You'll hear that. At, you'll hear that in the uh, credits reel. Eh, eh, come here. Thank you. Ah, uh, come here. Hi. Ow, 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 ow. See. Oh, hello. And since you can change your direction while jumping, it makes it makes certain jumps a little easier. Well, maybe not necessarily easier, but definitely a little bit more fun to play with. <laughs> Medicine. Let's see how often I use it. Now, another thing, and, and I'll be able to point this out a little better once we get further into the game, but your main weapon, which currently is Tink's Axe, uh, it is not, um, excuse me, it is not, um, bound to your heart meter, so I can be down to half a heart and I still be able to use the same main weapon. Uh, ow, 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 hey, come here, you gonna do that again, you wanna do that again, come here, wide open areas like this, it's weird, a bear, come on, thank you, okay, now I can jump from this one to that one, but you can just jump diagonally. <laughs> ah, that's one of the great things about the control scheme. You can move in eight directions, you, you know, along with the enemies. You've got this. A ah, little bit of a delay for the for some of it, but you know, it's a little worth it. You know. Oh, hi, bears. Uh, and hopefully I don't lose to one. I'd have to go all walking on him. There we go. All right. And that way just takes me back to the medicine room I was at earlier, so. Eh, nothing, really? Aw. Now, there's two ways to go about it. You can go about up there. In fact, I think I'll do that. At least to fight these guys. Ah, shit! See? Thankfully, it's not. I'm not very far. Whoa! Hello. Thankfully, I'm not very far away. Ah. Uh, but um. But yeah. You know what? Fuck that. Since you can control your jump, make kind of like uh night jumps. And bye bye, Mr. Snowman. Mr. Snowman, fuck off and die. Hey, gold bear. Yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, I will say I, I understand like this theme right here. I understand why it, it's definitely one of the better re one of the remixes I find most often because it's really damn good. <laughs> die bear, die, die, die. Thank you. Ah, here we go. All right. Do you remember from earlier? Let's see if I remember. Um, let's see, peace. Peace. Now, I already know from the first room not to go this way because there is actually a door doorway connecting up to this one. Peace, peace, triangle. Yes. I believe the next one is square. Yes, and peace. Yeah! Um, square? Oh yeah! <laughs> and the last one is triangle. Oh hells yeah! I don't have to fight these guys, but I'm going to. Because why the hell not? No. I, I can afford to be a little reckless with the first uh, dungeon. Because despite everything everybody says about Yum Yum, Yum Yum is kind of a pushover. <laughs> uh, at least, at least, unless you, uh, at least unless you destroy the boar he's chowing down on. So, yeah, there you go. Speaking of boars, hey, how you doing? 
So here we go. Yum yum. <laughs> See, look at this. You guys are afraid of him. Look at this. I'm just sitting here. Nee, 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 nee. Not even one attack. You guys were afraid of this guy? Come on. Although, to be fair, maybe I just caught him as he was eating, so, you know. I, maybe I just simply had the advantage. <laughs> You've done it! Yes. Points. Even more useless than they were in the previous game. Uh, good luck. Yes. Thank you, I'm Shorty. You really showed him, Mike. We would have been built for sure. Yum Yum was trying to fatten us up. For his supper! Oh, you're Picasso's son. I'm sure he'll talk again. Now hurry back and surprise your parents. Go on, hurry. There you go. Yay! Yum Yum is no more. Yum Yum. Mui Mui? I don't know. You've got a block. Mmm. Huh? What is this block? We do not know. We'll find out. <laughs> ah, so yes. And... We walk in. Cutscene! Oh. Mike, can you hear me? Mike, can you hear me? Oh, I found you. Mike, I've been looking everywhere. How are you able to connect with him telepathically through time? I want to know this. Dr. J told me what happened. Mike, listen, you've traveled back in time. I figured that out already. My father, Hyrakon, must have known something might happen. I'm sure Hyrakon wanted you find, to find the mystic tetrads. The tetrads were hidden on Earth, somewhere in time. Yeah, you can tell I'm using the original version. I'm not using the virtual console version. <laughs> they are the legacy of the Argonians. Please, Mike, please help us find the tetrads. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I can't talk anymore today. That's all for now, Mike. Whoop. Mike, wait! Disconnected! Tetrads? What's a tetrad? Mike, you're a Nintendo character. Nintendo at the time had a license for Tetris. I'd think you would have known what it is. Wait, look at the block! Ah, oh, there he goes. That's it! I already have a Tetrad! There you go. Whoop! And your life level increases too. <laughs> you decide to use the Oxford Wonderworld again. And say the magic words. And this is radical! It's so radical, it's actually knocking down the frame rate. Oh no! <laughs> no! Time travel is kicking my ass! No! Come on, time travel. Come on. Time travel is just that awesome! Also, my phone says hello. <laughs> I, I, I just... I don't understand why it did that, ladies and gentlemen. Where am I? Pyramids of Sphinx? This has to be Egypt. You decide to look around. Well, not right now I don't. Because while, the, while I am at chapter 3, this is the end of the video. Honestly, folks, I don't know what caused that little you know, glitchy, hiccupy stuff at the end right there. Um, I'm still looking into it. I haven't found much of an answer just yet, but, um, but hey, you know what? If you, if you watch this and you have an answer for me, feel free to let me know, because I'm honestly very curious. Um, although I think right now we can blame it on the Oxford Wonder World. That's what I'm doing. So, um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this, you know, you can do the usual things, so like, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. And if you want to help me in a more direct manner, you can head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And I tend to upload these in batches, so if you, if you pledge just even $1 per production, you get, like, several videos in advance before anybody else does. So, <laughs> so it's, it's all good. Um, it's really, really, I think, a great deal. 
Um, there, are all, there are other levels, but you can check out all of that on the Patreon page, patreon.com slash gomer21xx. Also, don't forget to check out uh, my girlfriend and title card artist's um, Patreon page, patreon.com slash Hop. And check out her webcomic, Otherworldly. Links to everything is going to be down there in, in, in the little doobly-doo there. It'll be awesome. Go check them out. And, you know, if, if you got other ideas or suggestions or, or just want to comment at me or whatever, you know, my, my social media stuff is down there. Leave a comment. Although I would prefer if you're going to fight over uh, My Little Pony stuff, please take it out of my comment section. <laughs> uh, I really should do a vlog uh, telling that story. Um... But that's, this is not the time. I've rambled on long enough. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.